boy, weighing only 24 pounds. That's half the weight he should have been. Tonight, we dig deeper into how this torture could have gone on for so long with the outside world never noticing. You know, often it's teachers who pick up on a child being abused at home. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Shannon Perrine shows us why that did not happen here. Even though the little boy didn't go to a brick and mortar school, someone still should have known that he wasn't okay. The seven year old who darted out of this house to pet a dog weighed what a healthy toddler should weigh. This home was his prison, according to investigators. His mother enrolled him in an online charter school, another reason for him to never leave the house and be around others. Others who would certainly notice. He was close to dying of malnutrition. Our school nurse, if she would see a height and weight chart or a physical exam at the specific grade levels that it's required, um, then there was some discrepancy. She would report that. Patty Rossetti is the CEO of PA Distance Learning Charter School. Antonio Rader is not a student at this online charter school. But Rossetti says all teachers and school staff, whether in traditional brick and mortar schools or in cyber schools, are required to look out for child abuse and report it. Such as grades dropping, uh, physical signs if they're using their webcams within the classroom, students present, they read aloud. A placard at teachers' desks shows the phone number to Childline, the state's child abuse investigation hotline. If we see any signs of a child being neglected or abused, in any way, shape, or form, we are required to call Childline and report that abuse. While children enrolled in online schools are not often physically with teachers, they are seen through webcams. And even though Antonio Rader did not leave his house often, his virtual image should have escaped these walls and caught someone's attention. There is no um, overlooking it, nor would you want that to happen. A uh, child's life. Well being is always at the forefront. I'm Shannon Perrine, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.